Wellington, New Zealand, Parliament Buildings, The Beehive, Seat of New Zealand Government. Any New Zealander can go online and undertake a virtual tour of Parliament, but for 40 young adults from both the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the Catholic Church, the virtual tour became a reality as they joined together in June 2014 for a two-day parliamentary experience in Wellington, New Zealand. The group of young delegates were chosen from all over New Zealand, so they were strangers at first, but that soon changed after day one. Together, the group undertook a community service activity where they prepared 400 personal care kits for the Wellington Night Shelter for men who seek accommodation and support at that facility. On day two, the delegates visited the New Zealand Parliament buildings. The Right Honourable John Key, Prime Minister of New Zealand, took the time to meet with the group and to talk with them. Recognising the background of the delegates, Mr Key focused on the subjects of leadership, community service and the important role that people of faith can play in the public arena. The Leader of the Opposition, the Honourable David Cunliffe, also talked to the group, sharing elements of his own childhood and education before suggesting how, as individuals, they could both succeed in life and make a positive difference in their communities. A number of other members of Parliament also met with the young delegates. And to really give them a taste of participating in Parliament, four of the young adults were invited to speak and share their insights into the role of faith in New Zealand and the importance of protecting religious freedom. The young adult delegation to Parliament were led by Elder Kevin W. Pearson, First Councillor in the Pacific Area Presidency of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and Sister Catherine Jones, Chair of the New Zealand Catholic Bishops Committee for Interfaith Relations. At the end of the two-day tour, Elder Pearson personally thanked the Members of Parliament for not only hosting the group, but also for their dedicated service to the people of New Zealand. He reminded the delegates that Members of Parliament are more than just what the news media sometimes portrays them to be that they all serve in public office while they have homes, families, challenges, but they have the desire to do good for others. And in final words of encouragement, Elder Pearson challenged all of the young adult delegates to reflect on their experience and to decide what they would do, who they would become, and how they would make a positive difference in their own homes and families, their communities, and in the world.